Hi there, David Kelly here. I just got back in from a morning run. Um, what I usually like to do first thing in the morning is, um, well first I get up, I wake up and I um, give thanks for the day and for being alive and everything, all the blessings in my life. And that's a, to me that's a good way to start the day off, just to give acknowledgement and gratitude for the life that you have and for the blessings in your life. Um, then I go out and run about eight kilometers and halfway through that run I stop at a place where it's a cobble beach semi secluded and uh, I like to go out there spend about 20 minutes I have a rock that I sit down on cross-legged um, in a you know just has that perfect tilt so that I can have a you know sit comfortably and meditate and I do that for about 20 minutes and I just empty my thoughts out and allow you know around me I hear birds singing in the morning time and the water sometimes the water's calm sometimes there's waves but I sort of just allow myself and my body to be absorbed into my environment and kind of forget about myself and my ego um, some mornings it's you know I go out there to meditate and my mind is so busy it's hard to do that and other times it just happens naturally but regardless I always feel so much better and focused when I do that and then I come home I get cleaned up I'm having my breakfast here it's a watermelon smoothie and um, I get my day started and, and it involves um, I'll have okay I'm gonna do this particular painting today I have to varnish that painting or paint the sides black I have to package that painting over there to ship to London England or Houston Texas wherever and then okay what can I do to promote my artwork on the internet through social networking Twitter Facebook YouTube and so it's a pretty full day but um, it's a lot of fun being an artist in this day and age and uh, the, the challenges are immense but they're not insurmountable it's just a matter of having a plan sticking to the plan and every day just chipping away at what you want to get and uh, it's been pretty good um, art you know paint I'm mainly a painter and I paint with acrylics because it's it's a cleaner medium to work with rather than oil um, I love oil but it's you know the the chemical side of it I find a little harsh and uh, even the, you know, I, I hate to say it, but in terms of permanence, I find acrylic quite durable. I have paintings that are many years old that I've done in acrylic, and they look fresh, whereas oil paintings after so many years, they start to uh, yellow. You know, the, the oils come to the surface, and the constitution of the painting changes. Now, that may be desirable um, in some cases. Now that being said, I can also look at a Rembrandt and uh, it looks amazing, but I'm sure there's been some reconditioning done over the years as well. Um, and it's been preserved in under pristine conditions. Um, but the, the style of painting I do, I have to say is unique um, it it's different from what other artists do and I mean I guess I could classify myself as a um, you know an expressionist a fauvist sort of kind of those influences um, the 
German Expressionist and the French Fauvist of the early uh, part of the 20th century. And then, you know, I'm also influenced by, of course, Picasso, um, Monet, uh, Chagall, all the classics. Um, and then the, ag the American Abstract Expressionist of the 50s. Um, but also, you know, the influence is far broader than that. But I've, over the years, because I've been painting for years, I, I've brought all that together and it has, I just have my own way of painting and it's highly reliant on what flows from the imagination. Uh, a lot of times I'm, what I'm doing is not preconceived. Now that doesn't mean I'm just willy-nilly painting, but um, I am very open to, to change right in the middle of a composition if it's appropriate. So um, I encourage you to take a look at my art on eBay. I have an eBay store called The Art of Kelly. You can go on eBay and just search Art of Kelly and you'd probably find me. Or um, there will be a link below if you'd like to check me out. And my art right now is quite affordable because I want to get it out there. I want everybody to own one of my paintings. And you should own one of my paintings. This is a great opportunity to get in on the ground level. So um, have a great day. And uh, you know, if you're not an art collector or you, you're not, you haven't been really exposed to the arts, Keep an open mind. Don't just go for what you what you think you like because your taste can change, okay? Just keep an open mind and you'll be richly rewarded. Trust me. See you later. Now, how do I turn this off? Help me. Oh, here we go. 